Resident Evil 5. I wonder if this is what Irving meant by answers. Not sure. But obviously there's a connection here with Umbrella. And that's never a good sign. We can worry about this later. First, we need to find out about Jill. You're right. Let's see what we can dig up. Alright guys, welcome back to Resident Evil 5. So we just ended off the last chapter, chapter 4, here in this mysterious cave. We have... We have come to the conclusion that Umbrella was here, as you can see. We also have, before we head to... To the next area, we also have evidence that they were working with Tricell. And so, I'm gonna see if I can actually search the, uh, the Tricell tents. This should be a relatively interesting chapter, considering that we're almost done with the game. Was Umbrella doing research on these flowers? Remember at the end of the last chapter, we were kind of like, how are these flowers surviving down here, right? What is this? A clipboard with some old new doc old and new document uh, documents attached to it. Construction supervisor's log. So we finally kicked the uh Endipa Endi Endipaya from the ruins. I guess that's the like the tribe that lived here. I have heard it was just to get this a flower field, but that's the least of my concerns right now. One thing I do know is that construction here has been a colossal headache. Trying to build something among these ruins is almost impossible to begin with. And just to get started, we had to change the groundwater channels. That meant that the flower bed wasn't getting irri uh, irrigated properly. And now the flowers are dying. And to top it all off, I have the head researcher Brandon breathing down my neck. He says he wants the facilities uh, to be at least three times bigger than originally planned. So after that got approved, uh, they fired the supervisor before me, Peter. Not sure why though, maybe he looked at them wrong or something. If I let these flowers die, the same thing will happen to me. I can't help but sympathize with poor Petey. Working with these science types is a pain in the ass. I hope we find a new water source soon. Our surveys showed that there might be some groundwater 500 meters or so down. That's pretty deep, so we'll probably have to use uh, that new pump system the Fabiano company makes. Hopefully that'll work, but with how everything has went so far, I'm sure something will go wrong. The only problem is that I have no idea when I'll be getting those new pumps. Even best case scenario, there's no way we'll get those new pumps in here and set up before the year is out. So it looks like we'll just have to use the old fashioned manpower to fetch water for these flowers so they don't die. Looks like I'm gonna be spending the last Christmas of the 60s away from my family. From Chief Researcher Brandon's Journal. 1966, December 4th, Mr. Spencer once spoke of a flower called the Stairway to the Sun. Supposedly, this flower would give the person who consumed it incredible abilities. Everyone thought it was nothing more than a rumor or legend that Mr. Spencer was telling us, but later, uh, later research would prove us wrong. The first person to recognize the validity of that story was my teacher, Dr. James Marcus. He had hypothesized that a virus, Hereta Unknown, here to unknown, here to, here to unknown, might exist that could alter DNA. The man was so superstitious. His hypothesis turned out to be correct. The virus discovered in that flower was labeled progenitor. The flowers did not contain any uh, progenitor. Perhaps the environment in which they're grown triggers the development of the virus. This matters. This matter must be investigated further. March twenty third. We've made no progress. Uh, we try cultivating the flower under different conditions, but with no luck. In triggering development of the virus itself, thus far we have tried changing the soil, water temperature, and light exposure, all with no success. I got into a heated debate with Dr. Marcus about the direction his research was taking. During this debate, Mr. Spencer in, uh, interjected some foolhardy notion of starting a company without the progenitor virus. There is no point in starting a company. Does he not see that? It's all pointless. Really? Shit, so this kind of goes way back. 
Sorry for the terrible reading to start off the episode, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. There's gonna be a lot of documents here. I'm gonna skim through them. I don't wanna bore you guys to death. Take it! Okay. If I had like a fifth grade breeding fifth grade breeding skill level, then I probably would, but from Chief Researcher Brandon's journal number two. 68, it's been over a year since we've had any breakthroughs. That's why Dr. Marcus and I have decided to return to Africa. We can no longer continue the research without the pro progenitor virus. I know those routine attacks by the uh, Depaya are really... I'm just going to call it Depaya, just to not, you know, get stuck. I'm really going to... I'm really going to wreck my nerves, but for the sake of our research, I will preserve... Persevere. In the face of the foreseen... Uh, of my foreseen dismay, it was Mr. Spencer who provided the answer. If you're worried about the, uh, the Paya, then we'll just have to remove them from the equation. I can only imagine the look of shock on our faces. The idea never occurred to us. It was quite an, a typical solution to our problem, but it seemed to be the only option available. Dr. Marcus and I decided to try Mr. Spencer's plan. Finally, some good news. We learned they were able to chase the Depaya off their land. The land we acquired only amounts to half of those underground ruins, but it isn't. Uh, but it, if it includes the area where the progenitor flowers grow, then there should be no issues. Mr. Spencer said he plans to construct research facilities at, at the site, which will like, expedite our research into the virus. We has uh, hastily made our preparations to depart from Africa, but Mr. Spencer requested that Dr. Marcus stay in Raccoon City to take over the training center. We were initially taken back by this request, but we soon realized um, it was the logical course of action. Dr. Marcus needs a calm environment to properly conduct his research. If he were in Africa, there would be no proper facility for him to use at this time. I just hope the African research faci uh, f facilitates or facilities <laughs> get built soon. I'm terrible at this. So now I will go alone to Africa and send back samples of the progenitor virus to Dr. Marcus. Both Dr. Marcus and Mr. Spencer agree this is the best course of action. I have to start making preparations to go. I have a feeling we'll be pretty busy starting tomorrow. September 29th. I've been in Africa for two weeks now. It's a good thing Dr. Marcus isn't here. This place is far from being a paradise of research and scientific study. So-called research facilities are nothing more than a bunch of tents. And we have to employ armor soldiers, armed soldiers to keep the Depaya at bay. But the thing uh, that gets to my nerves, or on my nerves, is the sound of the construction for the real research facilities. How am I supposed to concentrate on research when everything is threatening to drive me insane? I'm trying to just concentrate on extracting virus samples from progenitor flowers so I can send them to Dr. Marcus. Hopefully, if I can focus on my work, I can remain sane in this godforsaken place. Hey man, there's a lot of shit to read. Just an old computer. Can't tell if it's actually broken or if there's no power. Ooh. Nineteen ninety-eight. November sixteen. We've closed down the research center. It's strange, but I don't really care. I'm indifferent to the whole thing. I feel the same way as when I heard that the uh, Arclay facility and Raccoon City were destroyed. When did I become so apathetic? I've spent uh, every waking moment researching and extracting the progenitor virus. Everything I did was for Dr. Marcus. Actually, when I think about it, I probably stopped caring the day I heard he had died all those years ago. I didn't feel angry or happy or even shocked. I felt nothing at all. It was as if all my emotions just shut down. I just kept sending out samples of the uh, progenitor virus to all of the Umbrella laboratories. Um, I was just an automated machine reporting to Umbrella headquarters every time one of my subordinates make, uh, made a breakthrough or discovered something new. I was like a zombie, ambling, ambling through life. No thoughts, no feelings. And now the research center where I've spent half of my life is closed. I really don't care one way or another. It's probably all for the best. Perhaps it is too late to have any semblance of life again. Well, that is crazy. A telegram from James Marcus. T-Virus development is a success. January 13, 1978, James Marcus. Wow, man, so this is kind of like the origins. Insane. Ah, no, no, 
no, no, no, no, no, no. Sorry. Is that that shit from fucking Resident Evil 2 or 3? Umbrella training facility, Dr. James Marcus. Five cases of the progenitor sample. Progenitor. Oh, man. They're, they're trying to do the same thing. Here, let me... Um... You know, if we need to come back, we'll come back. That's fine. This is insane here. This is like... I don't know how, but they could be using them to produce biological weapons. This is the facility from the picture. No doubt about it. We're finally getting somewhere. I just wanted to say I'm editing this video right now, and I just realized that for almost the entirety duration of this video, my face cam stopped, and uh, I'm a bit bitter because, man, this was one heck of an episode. So, I hope you enjoy it. This was pretty great. And, uh, yeah, we're trapped here. We're not about to fuck around. Looks like uh, I was torn apart by the animals. Not a good way to go. What is this? Oh. This is not good. I saw something. Don't worry, so did I. I see it all. Those are goats. So here's my question. Why would it want to eat me when we've got all these animals that you know, the Laker can eat instead. These are some fat rats. Clearly, these have been some sort of experiments. Having these uh, animals tripping at my ear does not really help the situation. Everything's okay. See, in Resident Evil 2 or 3, whatever it was, I didn't really have a partner. But now I got a partner. Got you, girl. Oh my god. Alright, so thank god I have the vest. I was gonna disable the vest, like take it off. Um, right before starting this chapter. Because it protects you against melee attacks, like like what we just, you know, had happened to us. Um and I'm really happy I kept it because I feel like those those claws would have done a lot more damage. Roger. <laughs> Man, guys, I'm sorry for the reading, okay? Um, I try. I try my best. I, I, I try to get as much information as I possibly can. Sometimes it's not the easiest to sit there and, you know, just take on my reading skills. And yes, we just found an AK-47, 74, excuse me. Somebody better pick it up. Look, I'm not even playing. If none of us pick that shit up, I'm going to be so sad. One of us has to pick it up. Um, I, I, this is so hard. Why? Bro, look, I'm at the point where I don't even, I don't even care. Throw that shit away. There's no way I am just. Um, shoot, man. I need ammo. Take this. This is Magnum ammo. Okay. Use Perfect. this. Oh, okay. Well, that's very kind of you. You grab it. Okay. Yeah, how about you mix them? You know, that'd be a good idea. It's designed so it cannot be, op uh, be open from this side. All right, so we've got to find an alternative way into that room. Checkpoint. 
Right. Thank God there weren't more of them. Yeah, we wouldn't last in a fight with a whole horde. Yeah, I have a feeling there's gonna be more. There they go. Oh boy. I don't think they notice us. I guess their senses are weak. Girl? Why is she not using her grenade? Take it, Roger. I need your help. <laughs> Thanks, partner. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why are you not using that grenade of yours? All right. Bombs away! Oh, fuck. Bad idea. Terrible idea. Yeah, that's right. There's more. This is me hoping that. That we can actually gather shit from them. I mean, we might have to come back here. Chris, Chris. Did we really just take all of them on? <laughs> probably, probably the stupidest idea we've come up with yet. Um. My goodness. Take it, Roger. Come on, start picking all that up. Take it, Roger. Take it. Okay. Pick all that up, girl. You insane? Just kind of wish they would have dropped some herbs. You know, that would have been nice. Take it, Roger. Wow, she's got like nothing in her inventory. I can give her some rifle ammo. I don't have a rifle with me. Thanks. So I can do that. Thanks, partner. You're welcome, partner.
reminds me of that base, that underground base in um, Raccoon City. What was it? Um, in RE2. The pictures too. Wait, that means Jill might be here. Chosen one. What have they done? I feel like they need to remake Ver Code Veronica. Uh, There's so many. Before they remake this one. They must be kidnapping people from all over the world to experiment on. And one, of course. It stopped. <laughs> Why?
what a what an incredible chapter this this has been. I know I've said it every single chapter, but this is literally like nonstop. Liquors right off the bat. Now we got that freaking crazy thing. We've got some human experiments going on. Possibly Jill's here. I don't, I don't know. Highly influenced by the Matrix. Or did this come out after the Matrix? Um, I don't know. Damn it. Where is she? Mr. Redfield, how nice to finally make your acquaintance. Who the hell are you? Excelligiona. She works with Tricell. Nice. You've done your homework. An officer in the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium. Why? <laughs> As if I need to explain myself to you. Although, weren't you two given orders to retreat? So it was you. <laughs> Where is Jill? Jill? Even if I did know, you think I would tell you? Cut the crack! Tell me where she is! As soon as you two are done with your little vigilante mission, you should leave. There's nothing here worth throwing your life away for. My face cam just went off. I'm sorry. She's lying. She knows something. It's time we get some answers. This is really irritating. But that was one hell of a chapter. That was awesome. So this was the facility Excella was talking about. She's got us under surveillance. I can almost guarantee she sent that B.O.W. to eliminate us. You can ask her about that. And about Jill once we find her. All right. Let's find her then. Hmm. So, gotta go this way. Test subject data. Oh, they used her as a test subject. Caucasian female, blue eyes. Subject has been medically induced stasis for an extended period. All vital signs, including heart rate, res uh, respiration, blood pressure, and temperature, are within normal values. Uh, pigmentation abnormality has been observed. Effect of anomaly abnormality is limited to cranial hair follicles. In addition, slight uh, slight skin whitening has been observed. Damn, so they're experimenting on Jill? Wow. Yeah, I feel like they're gonna have to now... I mean, most of the remakes have had... Leon's story, and then of course Resident Evil 3 with Jill. I feel like they're gonna have to go back to... To the originals. And remake those, and then come back to RE5 remake. That would only make sense. I mean, I hope that's the case. Oh, nice. So I ended up giving uh, Sheva the uh, the Magnum just because I feel like I had way too many weapons. Um, and it just wasn't working out. So I just... I gave her the Magnum. I figured she might need... What? Wow, the metal metal helmets. Well, on the bright side, they can probably drop ammo, right? They don't drop ammo. Okay, that's just ridiculous. That's some bullshit, dude. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Bro, they've got these dudes experimented on now using freaking guns and stun batons. I need to grab myself that stun baton. I, I wonder if it's any good. I've been contemplating on buying it, but... I just haven't really wanted to waste the money. He did. Hmm. I owe you 
one. Pick this up. Give me a grenade. This is getting much more interesting now. You grab it. Okay. Don't be ready. I was gonna say, I think we're gonna need that. <laughs> Some money here. Take it. Okay. More SMG ammo. She's got an SMG of her own, so. Nice. Oh my gosh. Throw a grenade? <laughs> Holy crap. These guys, these guys have got to be more advanced. Or maybe not. They just gave them guns. The other guys did a bunch of shit too. Just didn't have guns. fun man oh such a fun little game hmm this is magnum I ought to give it to her I'll exchange it for give me a grenade this and I need ammo Use this. Could kind of use that handgun ammo. Not even gonna lie. I will. Man, I really feel like dropping something. Crap. Whatever. I'm starting to debate whether I should have actually got in the. Uh, Stun baton. I see this guy using it now. It must be really good. Perfect. Your aim sucks. Oh. It's almost as bad as mine. Damn, I should have stayed back there. Take cover. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna take cover. It's not worth it. I think there was something over here. Handgun. Ammo. Okay, you better start using that, that freaking thing, that magnum I gave you. If not, I'd keep it. Here, give me this. Give me an herb. Use this. Combine. We need this. Um. Give me a grenade. Take this. Let's do it. I do like how the game makes you play with inventory based off of what you have and your partner. I think it's pretty creative. Get smoked! Woo! 
<laughs> Bet you boys did not were not expecting that. Take it. Roger. Oh, there's a barrel right there, another explosive barrel. Didn't even see that. Some money. More ammo. And off to the races we go. Another cartoon. I like it. I like it a lot. The murder has been murdered. Make sure to take care of it before we leave. Don't worry. We were just surprised how much better. You know that voice. It's Excella. Not being handled, Robert. I'm looking forward to it. Albert. What? He doesn't know. Why are you holding up a girl, Albert? Shit, <laughs> Wesker. I thought he was dead. So supposedly he had he thought he died with Jill, right? When Jill took him down, but he survived. And so did she. Oh my god, not this again. Sure you better pick that up. You grab it. Okay. Come on, punks. Gosh! It's over for you, punks! Just beat him out. You guys ain't that bad. Honestly, again, I've been saying it. If it was just us, It'd be much more difficult. But thankfully, we've got a partner. All right, let me reload this shotgun. Last eight final bullets. I'll take the incendiary, because apparently you don't know how to use your grenades. I definitely see where people can get frustrated with, with Sheva as an NPC. But I also see, uh, I, I can clearly see where people enjoyed her company. There's more of them. Uh, they're not behind us, which is important. Good. on now whoa what a kick what a kick oh, Hold on. oh my god Oh my god! I owe you one. I'm coming! Okay. This is not good. I owe you Literally. One. 
My gosh. We should have just made a run for it. Why are why are you not using all your weapons, all your tools? I've given you so much. Oh, it could have been mine. And you're not using it. I could heal her, but I'm hoping we could find possibly like, you know, maybe another another herb mix it up. Looks like that's not going to be the case. So here. I owe you one. Oh, fuck. There's some crates over there. I should have waited. A little bit too impatient. That might bite me in the butt. We're safe. Okay, we got some handgun ammo. I think we're good. Actually, where are we going here? Go down the stairs. All right, no more liquor. Oh. What? Oh, come on, man. Die! Oh, this dude's got armor as well. What? There's no way these guys are stunning. That's freaking hilarious. That's not good. Shabba, Shabba, Shabba! Oh, my aim is all over the place. I'm too nervous. There's more of them. Unfortunately. But we've got some ammo over there. She came in clutch with that little... With that little herb. <laughs> oh my god. So I've got this bazooka, right? But yet I haven't found any ammo for it. So it's like... I don't know. I gave her the magnum thinking she was going to, you know, put it to good use. And then obviously I'd get some ammo for the, um, for the bazooka. But here we are. She's not using it. And I've got no ammo for the bazooka. Worst case scenario. Quite literally. Waited a little bit. Damn it. Alright. I don't want to get too crazy because we could get shot and exploded here. Like so. And that guy's got some sort of explosive as well. So we have to be super, super careful. So here, tell you what, give me I will give you this. Thanks, partner. You're welcome, partner. You can decide if you want to mix it or not. This guy almost blew me up. That would not have been pretty. Alright, so it seems like 
We've got some liquor nest down below. It looks like we can take... Oh, this is a whole different area here. How do, I, how do I get there? Should we drop off here? Oh, man. I don't know about this. I feel like the whole liquor situation is not over just yet. This has stopped, so things should calm down initially. Just a little bit. Ooh, another weapon. I don't know how many guns are going to give me. The mutant organism found in the facilities. May 6th, a fire broke out during the test for loading Uroboros virus into the missiles. This required temporary level. 4 BL4 quarantine for the immediate area. On May 11th, it's been five days since the area was put under quarantine. There have been reports of an animal undergoing a strange and rapid mutation. Eyewitnesses' accounts indicate that the creature passes a very hard epidermis. Um, possesses a very hard epidermis. That's like the, the skin, I believe. No virus cysts related to Uroboros have been reported. However, I speculate that we are dealing with a uh, or with something that has been influenced by the Uroboros uh, virus. A rare occurrence, to be sure. Perhaps uh, tomorrow I will put together an investigation uh, and find out. I sent a lightly armed team to investigate the sightings of the strange creature. Unfortunately, everybody died. <laughs> Trace amounts of uh, peculiar chemical substance were detected on the eyes of some of the corpses. What kind of mutant organism? Okay. Uh, what are we dealing with here exactly? I don't know. <gasps> a really creepy creature. I don't like the looks of this. I don't like this at all. On the way back, they're going to pop down. Remember that. They're, they're just going to drop. Why would they need these, do you think? Maybe they're planning to start a war. Hmm. An herb. Shit, she's got a she's got a, a red herb already. We need a green one. Come on! Okay. Take it. Pick that okay. up. Come on! Roger! Roger! No, it's Chris. You grab it. Okay. Remember those those nests, they're gonna What I just say? It's so obvious, right? Like Oh shit, they they've already split in half. Nasty little things. Nasty little critters! The cockroach! Oh, come on. Never thought I'd say this, but it might just be worse than the liquor. It's like an overgrown cockroach. Disgusting. Alright, so this should have the power on. Pull that down. Now those bodies should go into their burning phase. We should. These must be the discarded test subjects from the research facility. Nah, fuck that. Those things can actually jump at you. <gasps> nope. I don't want a part of that. Thank you very much. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry. Alright. I think we've made it. Another red herb. That's just great. 
incendiary. Shoot. Oh, we made it. Where is this girl? Help me! Shove You've got to be kidding me, right? Oh, I can. Oh. Help me! Shove it! Darn it! Come on, let's go. Hold on, I got you. Alright, good. Probably the creatures, cockroaches, which I'm assuming it's what they talked about in the note. But we're about to find out. Whenever you play a Resident Evil game and you reach Take this 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 area Take it. Okay. of like facility status, you know some shit's going down. It's going down. So I'm gonna give her this. I'm gonna exchange this for this. Give me a grenade. Take this. I'm gonna drop this. Okay. And I'm gonna grab the flame rounds. She you should pick up the incendiary her. rounds. I feel like that's gonna be much needed. I'm gonna trade this. Exchange this for this. I need ammo. Use this. And then I will exchange this for I this. Need ammo. Use this. And I think we're good. I, I, I feel a boss coming up. What is that, man? <laughs> oh my god. I think we've already had like five different bosses. Sheva. Test subject. Well, glad you could make it. Up here, you two. Excella, where's Jill? Jill, Jill, Jill. You're like a broken record, you know that? Just as single minded as he said. You've spent so long trying to track down Ouroboros. Well, here, enjoy. Uroboros is a new DLW, and you're planning on selling it to terrorists. Mm, good guess, but no. What's BOW? Is it bioweapon? I resemble the BOW based on the progenitor virus. I have no intention of selling it to terrorists. Then what are you using it for? World domination? Oh, well, that's nasty. <laughs> Evolution? It's a philosopher's stone, one that will choose through DNA, who shall proceed to the next stage. My vision and his combined, now made a reality. Evolution? What are you talking about? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Everyone will. Looks like he wasn't worthy. Only the chosen ones are fit for the coming new world. Excella, wait! Warning, a biohazard. Personnel must incinerate. 
Hey man, where's the same type of bio when you wipe that alpha team? Yes, but this one seems much more ferocious. We've done this before. We've done this before. This ain't no thing. Oh wow, I was like, I, I was literally just gonna say, well I'm safe behind this tank here. <laughs> you broke the tank. We gotta run. Oh shit. The flamethrower, what? Oh, you done messed up, bro. I was about to say, now I can't. It's up to you. Find that son of a bitch. Okay, well, that's fucking. I know I've got incendiary, but I'm trying to see if I can get that flamethrower again. We've got an herb right here. Fuck, I gotta throw caution to the wind. Well, you better go at him right now. Oh, he's over here. Burning the crap out of him. I'm just gonna take. Where's the herb? Okay, now I'm gonna go for the first aid. Stop giving me crap, Shabba! Like. Let's go! He's got the Magnum. Come here, girl. Come on! Roger. Perfect. Not today, Satan. Let's go! <laughs> you about to die, punk! You can tell me that thing's not dead. Really? Oh my god. Bro, I've been at this boss for like a minute. Like, 
He wouldn't die. I, I wasted almost all my resources. My goodness. What a pain in the butt. Wow. Um. Well, there goes uh, the RPG. I had that on reserve. And uh, I guess it paid out. I mean, I, I had already blown so much nonsense into this guy. He wouldn't die. I, that was just like, all right, let me just give this a go and see what the hell happens. Uruboros research facility. What's all this nonsense about evolution and being worthy? What does she mean? Something about a philosopher's stone and selecting DNA. It doesn't matter what she says. She's just a terrorist. End of story. We can't risk Uroboros getting out of here and infecting people. Then let's go take care of business. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and do just that. I'm dying to just get out of this facility. This has been... That boss was pretty gnarly. I'm tired of not having shit. Here, take this. Exchange for... I need ammo. For this. And then exchange it for... Never mind. I'm gonna be locked and loaded. Here we go. Gearing and stuff like that. I think more liquors are going to be right around the corner. We're getting out of here. Is that what it is? Or maybe even worse. What's in here? Yeah, they're they they're they're hooking it up right now. They're like, look, guys, you're, you're gonna need it. Don't ask why, but you're gonna need it. this exchange it for that discard this garbage we don't need it Take this. You pick that up it. makes it and give it to okay? us excellent Oh, 
Oh, wow. He still shoots even after he's beheaded. That's... That's new. Alright, get us out of here. The power is out. I think we've got to go to that door. Over here. Those things drive me crazy. Oh my goodness. Girl, you better start picking things up here. It's like I can't even carry that gun. What are you what are you doing to me? Okay. Um I'm going ammo. She grabbed it. I just grabbed the grenade. Screw it. Hmm. You know what? Might as well grab this. And turn on the power. Almost forgot about the power. I'm just praying my face cam doesn't turn off again. We've been recording for a minute. For a hot minute. I need ammo. Take this. Oh, sweet. Oh, gosh. This is perfect. Perfecto. Okay, get this thing moving. Uh, okay. I'll check if I can move it from over there. So more people are going to be coming, presumably. Oh my God! Get out! I've got the control. Hitting this freaking shield. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. So close. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it now. You need to be careful. She makes it. Yeah, she makes it, man. She makes it that quick. This is that bastard. He did. Let's go over here real quick. Come on, Roger. Come on. Pick that okay. up. You grab it. Roger. You grab it. Only shotgun ammo. Want to give me some of that? Here, I'll exchange it for. Thanks, partner. Never mind. Never mind. We should almost be done here. I don't see why we wouldn't be. I mean, 
this guy really has a fucking RPG. This is almost ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Man, I saw his ass blow up like that. Like, <laughs> I saw him huffing and puffing. I'm like, oh, this dude's gotta have like some sort of grenade implemented in his stomach. Gosh. Really? Oh, come on. Bro. These people are nuts. Can I pick up the RPGs, please? Seems like uh, we're gonna have to do this the hard way. He's gonna blow. He's gonna blow! Jamie? What the hell are these guys made of? You wanna get an egg? Oh man, I missed that. I was so nervous, I just missed it. Thankfully, my partner here is a badass. Ugh. We're still recording, nice. Very nice. Ooh, a bunch of graphs and diagrams. Probably don't need any of these. Oh, that's a rotten egg. Not yet, huh? Not quite yet. No more liquors, please. I don't want any more problems. Let's just be done with it. My goodness. Why are we getting so much? Exchange food. Give me a grenade. Roger, use this. I'm gonna discard this. Man, I need to get rid of some of these guns. Way too much. Take this. Here. I need ammo. Take this. Can she just mix it? Apparently not. You grab it. Roger. Come on! Okay. Take it. Okay. You grab it. Okay. Uh-oh. You grab it. Okay. Why are they giving me so much here? I don't like the looks of this. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't like the looks of this at all. Rifle ammo, like what's going on here? I need ammo. Take this. Now there's rifle ammo here. Yeah, it's like we're supposed to be sniping or something. This is not gonna end well. We are not. I need, I just. I need. I need to get rid of some guns, man. Might be it. I knew it. I freaking knew it. I mean, do 
I want to waste my ammo on these guys? Where is this taking us? Wow. They're going to pull it. Bunch of bastards. It stopped. No, something's stopping it. Fuck, stop moving. It's going up again. Yep. This is super annoying. That is super annoying. That movement thing. Oh my god. And it's literally the only gun that I have that somewhat has range. Oh my god. It's going against me like it's the platform is turning counterclockwise. Where are they? Alright, hold on. Good. Is there another one? Spinning. We're good. I wonder if you can like fall from here. You probably can. I don't even want to try. <laughs> Just in case. Fuck that. Let's go. Really? Last one, baby. The fuck? Let's go. You grab it. Okay. Okay, this is it. We're here at the bottom line. Oh my gosh. And it keeps on giving. My goodness. If we want to find out, we're going to have to lower that bridge. Then we need to locate the controls. Maybe they're in that building. Hmm. Maybe this way. <laughs> Seems like the power is off. So... That's a generator right there. As soon as we pull that that generator on, you know there's gonna be reinforcement. Now oh, that's on. I'm dying to drop one of the weapons I've got on right now. Got like no space for, for ammo or anything like that. Anything important, damn it. Shova. Roger. 
I'll activate the elevator for you. I did not think I was going to jump over the elevator. This is not happening right now. Sorry, Shovel, I gotta take this. If not, I'm gonna die up here by myself. <laughs> and that's not happening. Acid rounds. These might be actually good. Um. Against these critters. I don't like how you can't just reload your, your grenade launcher. You gotta combine the ammo with it. In order for it to, like, work. You bastards can fall down. Much better. I like that. I like that style better. Alright, so we're gonna push this. No idea what this is gonna do for us, but I guess just get out of here, maybe? Man, that's full of, like, aluminum and shit. It, it, this guy's gotta be strong as hell to move that. I've been saying it, Chris Redfield. He's on the sauce, man. Look at those arms. It's not normal. All right, we made it. And these things are behind us still. Let's see how they like this. Alright, so, not gonna lie, it was a little bit uh, overwhelming at first, but now that we've done it, I, I, I'm happy, we're here. Could have also waited just a little bit. I gotta do that, need to grab the herb. Sorry. Dropping down. Okay. Uh, can I open up the door for her? It's unlocked. I tell her to grab this. Oh, please grab that. You grab oh, my it. Okay. Goodness gracious. Okay, so I don't have a magnum. You can take this. I owe you one. Yeah, that's right. Here, let me get this. Give me a grenade. Apparently, you hate using grenades. All right, that should bring down the bridge, and there is the door. That's a tricell door, right? That's where this trick should be in. Tricell? Is that what it was called? No, not tricycle. Tricell. Got 
gotta get all the money you can. Oh boy. Excelligione! Stop right there! Bravo! Damn it, where's Jill? <laughs> Jill? Maybe I'll tell you. Maybe I won't. Well, not this freaking thing again. What was that? Well, I don't know where this is going. Bro. Stop playing around. We want some answers. You haven't changed. Oh my god. We're gonna get clapped. Wesker. Are alive. This is Wesker. <laughs> we last met at the Spencer Estate, wasn't it? Well, isn't this one big family reunion? I would expect you to be happier to see us. Is that Jill? Us. So slow to catch on. Bro. Seriously. Jill. Jill, it's me, Chris. What? Are you sure that's her? The one and only. What? Bro, she was about to surf on him. Dude. Oh my god. Kick his ass, Jill. Kick his ass. I mean, Chris, kick her ass. I like her with that blonde hair like that. She looks pretty cool. Now, let's finish this once and for all. I think the odds are fair. Two. What are you talking two. about, bro? We're going to get smoked. Right, Jill. We're going to get smoked here. Seven minutes. Seven minutes is all I can spare to play with you. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know if you knew that, but uh, you cannot kill him. He's practically... You grab it. What the fuck? He's so menacing, dude. supposed to do but I can't hit him. Your future hinges upon this fight. This is probably just gonna be one of those things where we get our asses kicked. There's just no way we can kill him right now. We'll never win like this. It's time to change tactics. I knew it. We should hide. We should hide. Yeah let's hide. There's no point in hiding. What do you mean? Ah, there you are. She's taking the easy way out. I'm telling you. Ooh. Come on. Girl, you better pick that shit up. Fuck, he's coming. He's coming. You're merely postponing the inevitable. Here I am, for you, my precious time, and you waste it by running around. Oh, God! Bro! Are 
you guys playing like tag back here or Oh, sorry. I mean, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I expected more of a challenge after all this time, Chris. How disappointing. I figured you'd just have to run away. Yes. Go. The ego in me just wanted to try and hit him at least once. What? Stop. That's unbelievable. That's jail, man. That is nuts. Jill, come on! It's me, Chris. Snap out of it. Nice move, Chris. But now that your partner has arrived, I'll leave you two to catch up. Come on, Jill. Get yourself together. Wake up. Jill Valentine! Jill. Remarkable. Still resisting at such an advanced stage. Commendable. Wow. No more time for games, Chris. I've got work to do. She's under his control. Have fun watching Jill suffer. Wait, what did you do Fuck. to her? Don't. Don't tell me we have to kill her. What's that on her chest? We have to get it off her. Oh no. Jill, calm down. I like that look on her. She looks cool. Uh, do we shoot her? What, what, what do we do? We can remove that device on her chest. She never turned to normal. Why are you walking like that? Like a spider. Right. And that's what we're gonna do. What are you doing? We might have to hit the device. Turn it off. There we go. Gotcha. Gotcha. Come on, what are you doing? No. Stop this, Jill. Answer me. We're best pals, Jill. We have to get that device off her chest. Turn it off. Oh, this is cool. This is like completely different. Jill. It's me, Chris. Don't you recognize me? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Nice. Oh, there you go. It's a cat fight right there. Wow, this is this really does make everything so much so unpredictable because you you. You've been fighting bosses almost every chapter, and then this comes along, and it's so different, right? It's more like a rescue sort of boss fight, if that makes any sense. Really cool. I'm really liking it. Come on, snap out of it! Oh, you're gonna kick my ass, girl. I'm trying to help you. Don't do this, Jill. I don't want to hurt you. We have to get that device off the chest. All right, here we go. Another time for good luck measure. Unsuccessful. Phenomenal. Darn it, Jill. Snap out of doing? it. You're acting all weird. You're doing like parkour moves and shit. Come on, Sheva. Snap that thing out. There we go. Might be better if I actually hold her down and then Sheva can actually shoot it. There it is. Oh, that's got to really hurt. Holy smokes. Jill, are you okay? Please tell me you're back. Ooh. Oh no. Jill. Jill. Are you alright? 
Wow. Chris. That's awesome. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You're Sheva, right? Yes. I couldn't control my actions. Oh my God, I was still aware. Oh, forgive me. It's all right. Thank you. That's amazing. I love that. Listen, I'm gonna be all right. You do need to stop him. We can't just leave you here. You have to. This is your only chance. If Wesker succeeds, Uroboros will be spread across the globe. Millions will die. Well, yeah, but- I'm all right. You need to stop him. Chris, you're the only one who can. Before it's too late. Don't you trust your partner? Oh, damn. <laughs> All right. Well. Take care of him. Why'd I know she was going to say that? survive this well you could have just gone with us you know it would have been better but no Chris I'm alright over there Time to put an end to this. Let's go. All right, guys. So that's going to be the end of chapter. Th excuse me. Chapter five. The next chapter is going to be the last and final one. Chapter six. We can now see Joe Valentine's file in the library. That was an incredible chapter with a good amount of different enemies and boss fights and of course Jill like that was a piece of me thought for a second what if there's like a plot twist and this crazy hooded person is Jill and then when I saw she wasn't in those capsules I'm like hmm and then when she appeared I was like hmm so yeah that was Jill Valentine and uh that was incredible I, I really enjoyed that unfortunately my face cam turned off like 20 minutes into the video so Please don't hate me. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.